Hi, Ken back again from Ken's Place and today I'm introducing my new FOF circuit board. Okay, this is the new board that I've made up. Alright, this is the board on that's on my webpage. Okay, uh, I've been able to replace all of the components with the exception of these coils. Okay, the problem with replacing the coils okay I'll take this off here and I'll show you okay this coil all it is is it's a piece of plastic alright it has an iron fair core okay or iron on some of them you know it'll have little piece strips of of iron in it okay and it's wrapped with coil wire okay. And basically what I do, okay, I, since I can't get this exact type, the only ones I can seem to get are these, all right? And this is only four pins, and I have a six-pin coil form, all right? So I can't, I can't get a replacement for it. So what I have to do is I have to make it up. But the thing right now... I haven't been able to make make these so this is what I need I need these coil forms off of the board okay and what I do is I take all the wire off okay since it's it's just a plastic insulator okay and I have new wire okay that I use all right it's magnetic wire it's the same same diameter wire and all and I rewrap the coil with it this makes it basically brand new because the only important thing on there uh, is the coil wire okay um, that the insulation that if it that it doesn't overheat and the insulation wear out where it can make uh, a short in the coil that's what's happening to most of the boards okay uh, most of the older boards uh, when when the older board this is this is an this is an older board actually this is this is a really old board okay this is one of the original types of boards uh, I call them first generations uh, Foff came out with these pretty much in the beginning all right and they have a little bit different coil forms on them okay uh, they have the old capacitor this is a three leg capacitor it's got two legs in the back and one leg up front okay and basically these these are the transistors that are on it and then you have the transistors that are on it and all and it has the resistors and all that for it okay but the problem is is you can't replace you can't right now I cannot make these up so I need these off of the old board uh, and I refurbish them okay think of it like when you go and get a refurbished starter motor for your car what they do is you turn in your old starter motor and what they do with that core that's called you know they, they charge a core fee and if you turn in your old starter you get your core fee back and all that but what they do with the old starter motors is they take them apart and pretty much they they they'll rewind some of them will rewind the coils on them if they need to but they basically replace the contacts in the front with with the solenoid and all that um, they may even replace the solenoid itself okay uh, with a newer solenoid uh, but all it is is wire wrapped around a plastic insulator so it's it's no real big deal but as you can see the diameters of these things it's you know the height is a problem okay trying to stick this in this little box is not going to work so you can you can see the little box it's much bigger it cuts in it'll cut into the switch and everything and there's no way to do it even if i put it on this side it's too big for the box okay um plus i can't get the right henry you know micro henry's and all that for it um in that size but these are this is basically the board that i have now so if you have a problem um returning the old board basically if you don't know how to solder you can send me the whole box with the board attached 
and I'll I'll go and I'll put you know solder the board onto the wires and all and put it back in you know and then that way all you have to do is hook up you know just push the wires on onto the pins that are on the top and the wires are pretty much uh, numbered you know one through nine so they're pretty easy they're they're all standard um, they didn't change any positions of these wires so you have your your light is the first and the third and then your motor is the second fourth fifth and sixth pin your stopmatic switch is your seventh eighth and ninth pin okay so that's basically all that's in there for the wiring um, you could take a picture of how it's wired um, and that way when you get the board back you can, all you have to do is look at the picture if your your numbered things are on the wires or not are bad um, and that way you, all you do is put the wires right back on it's very easy the only thing that holds this box in is is a screw on the one side and a screw on the other okay uh, you have to take the little switch cap off before you pull the box out and and undo the screws and then the, it'll come out um, you have to take on the bottom plate here the only you know the only thing you have to do is there's five screws on the bottom um, on most of them some of them only have four screws they didn't put the little tiny screw in to hold the bottom piece there on, on when I've seen that people get their machines serviced and all so now the older boards okay and even the newer boards <coughs> They didn't put any type of masking on it. Now, if you see some, some of the boards will have masking, like this green masking on it. It's really not necessary. I mean, this is this is a 40-year-old board. Okay, there's no corrosion on the soldering points. All right, and it's 40 years old. Um, this, the only the only spot was that when this board blew out because of the um, three-legged capacitor the person tried to fix the board by soldering it okay and it didn't work okay so that's why he had to get a new a new board okay but uh, this is this is a 40 year old board okay and this board that's in here this is from an SE okay this is the original SE boxes they were red and this is a 1980 board okay um, this board doesn't have any masking on it the same way as mine it really doesn't need the masking um, the masking was so that you wouldn't you know like if you were to test it or something you wouldn't short it out if you touched something like that it, it, it protects against uh, little shorts out short outs on the board but the thing is is the board is contained in the box and most of the time people don't go into the box so there's really no problem with shorting the board. Um, I have never seen anything, you know, any boards get shorted other than the fact that the, the resistors and the diodes finally go because the board is so old. All right, that's the only time. Even this board, uh, this board was in the machine for 30 some years and the th resistors on, on it finally went and, you know, the board basically died. Okay, it stopped working. Uh, but that's that's basically where it is um, now I have my test unit and I have this circuit board in there to show you okay I'm gonna turn this around and we'll unplug this just for safety And I will show you. This is my this is my board in here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is the new board that I have. All right, you can see by the blue capacitor there. You know, until the th the wires are really tight on this. So and I will show you that the board works. 
okay? My light... My light is on, so I have power to the machine. Okay, now we'll zoom in here. And you can see that the machine runs. It runs quite fast. Okay. I can adjust the board. The other the other thing is stopmatic works. Okay. Now I have let's just move this up a little bit, make it easier for myself. Okay, I have my four layers, okay, this is four layers of canvas, all right, and this is tough stuff, this is 10 ounce stuff, this is 10 ounce canvas, okay, now you'll see me, I don't have any thread on the machine, um, but I really don't need it right at the moment just for the test. Uh, all I need to do is basically show you that it's going to go through the, ten, the four layers of 10 ounce canvas. Okay, there you are. It went straight through it. I mean, you could see all the little, I don't know if you could see all the little holes that it made in it, but it went straight through it. So the board works on a, on a regular machine. All right, this is a 51222. And the board will work for any of the machines that have the 110 volt. This is a 110 volt board, circuit board, okay? I haven't done the 220 volt boards yet, uh, but I have an idea that it's only switching a few components on, on the board to make it 220. I think they're very similar. Uh, so, but this is for a 110 volt USA or anybody that has 110 voltage. Um, going through their house, okay, uh, 60 hertz, all right, um, and basically the board doesn't take that much. The whole machine only takes like one amp, all right, uh, that's including the circuit board, the motor, and the light bulb, all right. The most I've ever, uh, on as far as amperage, the most I ever got was um, 1 1.2 or 1.3 amps. I had a uh, 1.6 amp fuse in there and the machine ran perfectly fine so it really doesn't require all that amperage. So that's that's my demo for the circuit board. Uh, you can find it on uh, kensplace.com uh, and I will be selling them but I will I do need your old board back so I can get the coil forms off and reform them. Alright so Anyway, thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.